Welcome everyone to part 28 of Trials and Tribulations. Alright. Uh, so what's in the algorithm? We need to find back the Mangatama. Yeah, basically, if we find anything about the Chef for Trey Beyond, then we report it back to Gumshu. Alright then. How hard could it be? Well, it's only the third case. I'm sure it what will be easier than wrong? the others. <laughs> One of these cases not like the others. Wouldn't it be this just game a game is not like the others. I know, right? A, yeah. An actual yeah, good third oh, case, yeah. a fantastic second case where Maya wasn't the client. The scent of flowers sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Ugh. Who are you? Uh, um, hello. Someone you... Well, it depends, actually. Um... Oh, and she's gone. Uh, Who's that just now? A, a customer? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure she won't be- I'm sure she's not important. Don't worry. She had a sort of dark aura about her. Like she's a Whoa. dark counterpart of someone. That's you, Shiroi. <gasps> oh, never mind. Sorry. B Avenue. I, I, saw, I, saw the B, I saw the B Avenue, so I immediately- Welcome. Okay, yeah. now I check. Wow, what a cute voice. Uh, but she doesn't sound like somebody who speaks guess. in a cute voice, or even speaks with a oh. Uh, oh, it's just you, Nick. M Maya, you actually have a different outfit, Sprite. Well, how do I look? Well, then again, I also Let's had not a answer that. Well, I also yeah. had a different outfit. And millions of fanfic writers rejoice. Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe. It's kind of boring being a waitress. Well, I guess this is a good way to have an undercover agent in the site. Well, that, mean, that was. Well, well, the thing is, honey, I mean, you're in a shitty restaurant that doesn't get any customers, so obviously it's going to be boring. Wait, but then who was that woman I just saw? Hmm. Oh, oh! Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat. Shall I get the sick bucket ready? Oh, how bad can the food be? I am kind of hungry, actually. Maybe it's empty because somebody just died here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not necessarily because the food's crap, but About no this. this happened. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I'm a waitress now. I've got a pile of work waiting for a little old me. Aw, how nice. Uh, nope. You gonna pay Phoenix back with your wages, Maya? Maybe she will finally! So okay! We can't give her any evidence then. Cause she's a waitress now, but we do get new dialogue and we examine stuff now. Oh, god dang it, I accidentally pressed that back button. Do you want to look at the pink stuff? It's a rack full of fashion uh, magazines, and they're all in French. Ugh, all the clothes in these are absolutely atrocious. Some of them have been circled in red. I really hope Mr. Armstrong is not thinking of buying those. Is that from the 1980s, then, or something? No, 70s, you mean, Dwebs? No, uh... No, no, the 80s had terrible clothes, too. No, no, seven, the, the 80s wish they could uh, they could be as shitty clothed as the yeah. 70s. I mean, seriously, uh, have you seen how people dressed in the 70s? The 2010s have yeah. terrible clothes, too. <laughs> Let's just agree all eras have their incredibly stupid if looking if outfits. If anything, the 80s just rock with the, with their clothes selection. Anyway, uh, can Mr. Jabra Armstrong even get in there? Really bad thing about the 70s. If he got in, could he get out again? Well, seriously, the seven eats were all brown. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that just the case in Britain, though? No, I'm pretty sure other countries have their share of brown, too. Fifty Shades of Brown. Mr. Armstrong must be a pretty big <laughs> meat freak. 
Everything's in order. Now, if only the food in this place was edible. You haven't eaten anything yet. No, you haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> this must be the table where the poisoning occurred. The stain tells the story well. No, well, no, she no, 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 Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the stain, not the police tape. Well, Shiroi, <laughs> speaking from experience, I mean, considering the fact that he doesn't get any customers, that in itself is kind of your clue. Don't worry, don't worry, don't oh, worry. Yeah, there were customers here, but then a murder Don't happened. worry, don't <laughs> worry, don't worry, guys. We're actually going to get to taste the food in this part. No way, guys. Oh, oh guys. joy. I got it. The food was so shitty that he died. <laughs> so, me. how do you like your new job, Maya? It, it was poison, but not deliberate poison. It also depends. How many stars does this restaurant have? We'll look into that later. A, pro a quarter. <laughs> a quarter star? Uh, and here I thought one star was the minimum. <laughs> anyway. Man, this episode is so shitty that it actually broke scale. <laughs> of course we need a customer before I can do it. Any of that. Yeah. It's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Would you like to be my first victim uh, customer? <laughs> um You're our favorite customer. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. I'm really surprised if this is a deleted scene from the room. <laughs> yes. Oh hi doggy. Smile. Wonderful, wonderful. That smile must do wonders for the Kickstarters out there. <laughs> Why don't you order something? The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, so he says. Interesting. Hmm. How much is it? Fifty dollars. It's a twin tea. I can't read that. Twin tea. Twin tea set. Set. So it's twenty dollars, of course. Twenty, twenty. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, at least it's not twin <laughs> towers. The twin yeah, tea yeah. set. I believe I'll be taking twin a pass. Set. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't. Come on, Nick. It's not every day I get to be a waitress. Oh, don't worry, Maya. On the internet, you're a waitress every day, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, you were being dragged off earlier, kicking and screaming, Gary. She likes it, though. I guess she just finds herself more comfortable than her acolyte's outfit. I want to try carrying plates and working at the cash register. How about cleaning the toilet? That should keep you busy. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe later. I should know from experience. Um, about the lunch. Oh, a fun choice, sir. Wow, she's even got a nice British accent for a waitress. <laughs> no, I, um... Whoa! Oh, what? Kitchen, a lunch special, please. Oh boy. Have you ever been a waitress, Joy? No. Ah. Why? Just wondering if. Uh... Okay. <laughs> With all the extras, drink, side salt. Wait, I don't need any of that! Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. Because I said so. Your protein, yeah. proteins are important. But that's supposed to be the main course, not all the sides and extras. Is Maya gonna eat them? Maya's really getting into this. You know, Maya's gonna eat like 90% of the food that's brought up. Probably. How much is this set lunch then? $20? Hmm. It's pricey, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. minute. That's not but, including the side But with salad. the drink, side salad, and dessert, it's <laughs> $45! So you were off by five, dwibs. Hey, wait a sec! Maya! Too late! Poor Phoenix, sir. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, a deluxe. Four to five. Four to five. I've been <laughs> had. This, this background, Maya's uh... dress, and that text is a fucking nightmare combination. <laughs> <laughs> girly! Girly! Whoa! Editions fired by lobster and old oh, Jesus fucking Abal Christ. Abalone Abal 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 fricasse. And a balsamic vinaigrette. Squirm What's teaches vinegar? French. Vinegar. Yeah, What's vinegar. Oh. Vinegar. Why did you say vinegar then? Oh, have you, have you had balsamic it's, vinegar? Um, everything sounds fancier if you say balsamic. it in French. What's balsamic vinegar? You can usually have it with salad or bread. 
Yeah. Uh, no, not really. I think Remember... I might have had it once when I had a salad, but that's about it. Okay, Remember here we stereotype. go. Remember the stereotype that everything sounds fancier if you say it in French. Lobster, huh? All right. Down the hatch it goes. Yeah. Remember, Americans love accents, so. <laughs> yeah. Well? Uh, are you hungry, Maya? <laughs> I'm starving. Well, Always. here. It's yours. I think that was the plan all along, to be honest. Probably. Really? <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, just like that okay. option in Family 7 from Cloud uh, in the wall market. I oh. ate better dog food. Uh, Maya, are you okay? Here's the thing, though. Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you'd better polish off that plate. Here's the thing. Turns it's bad, isn't it? Even <laughs> Maya won't eat it because she doesn't like the taste. Maya, of all people, is refusing food. I... I've just remembered. I've got to clean the toilets. Wow. <laughs> the food's that bad, yo. See? Uh, hey! You can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets. On second you're thought. Even, you're, on you're second not, thought. You're not even good. Come on, John. You're not even being a, good, being a good French stereotype. Come on. Well, you know what? On one hand, though, maybe we could dump the plate's contents into the toilet. No one would mistake them. Cost twenty dollars despite how unbelievably bad it tastes. Twenty dollars for a lunch special. Well, it's a themed restaurant. They usually cost more. Hey, Nick, you want to take a peek at the kitchen? Here's the thing, Shuri. Sure, they often cost more, but they usually have good food to go with it. That is. Hmm. What was it that Maggie said again? I didn't do it, officer, I swear. In the kitchen, <laughs> you'll get to see yeah. all of the chef's greatest secrets. In the kitchen? Hmm, that sounds tasty. Uh, you're, really? able, you're able to say that after we nearly died from eating a dish. Uh, hey, wait up, Maya! No, maybe the... Maybe the products are good, it's just the end product is shit, because the chef can't cook. Perhaps. Wait, weren't you going to show me around? I think that was my plan to find some... Cool, cool. To show sure it, it off, off, off in your face. face. I'd better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. I'm not right, get abandoned and left to be out here with the dead. Wait, that is that plate of food over there. January 6th, trade Day young kitchen. Oh, oh god. My god. Even the kitchen. Talk about the. Well, I mean, the hygiene here must be terrible. And here it is. Yeah. Famous trade young kitchen. <laughs> it's my first time being here, too, actually. Probably for the best. There is a weird atmosphere in here, that's for sure. Mr. Armstrong will be back soon, so we better search quickly. Chop chop! Uh, Jova? Yes? How many days is this case? Uh, <laughs> why do you ask? I think he wants it done. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dwibs can't handle the cutesy factor. Don't worry though, it's it's, it's two cases. Two days, huh? Yeah, I mean two days, yeah. I've never heard of most of Hey Nick, this container has oyster sauce. Is that exactly what it says it is, Maya? Isn't that oyster used in soul. Chinese food? So this what? guy ah, look! Chef, you can't, uh, right there, on the counter! Correct. Oh, the Magatama. The Magatama? What's it doing here? Good question. Huh? Uh... What indeed? <clears throat> Magatama, put, put in into pocket. pocket. Back where it safely belongs. And now so you will we'll get an explanation why Phoenix is Magatama ended up there. We will. And now we can re-examine this with and see the full dialogue. Yeah, that's right. Now we'll actually see where the oyster sauce goes, I think. I'm not very picky with food. Isn't that used in Chinese food? And look at these knives. They look really sharp. I hate I hate 
I'd like to see how one of these slices were cheesecake. Mmm, cheesecake. I like quiche. I do not like cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I don't I really like, like quiche. Either. You don't exactly mm. need a sharp knife for one of those, Nick. All right, back. Cook it horribly, horribly wrong. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, I got it. You cook it so wrong, it actually becomes cheese. <laughs> Moldy cheese. <laughs> Moldy cheese. cheese. Is just mold, though. That's the thing. <laughs> hmm. That smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot, and it's been left unsupervised, as I noticed. Obviously. Uh... <laughs> it must be the lobster and Avalon France. Of fricasse with a balsamic vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Wait, so it smells good at first, but he leaves it to overcook? Maybe. What you think is the only French dish I know the name of. So maybe he's just hoarding the actual good food for himself. <laughs> what are these lace curtains for? Yeah. I don't know. Feel, don't they? In a kitchen! Fire. Yeah, they get drenched uh, with the, every fume that comes out of your pot. And also, if your, whole, if your home was a doll's house, then sure. <laughs> you know, if I was... You know, if I was a cooking pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on a shelf under those. How do you respond to something like that? I don't know, Phoenix. So. This is Meyer we're talking about it. Now this is one large mirror. He does his makeup in... In the kitchen. In the ki oh, Are you fucking Lord. kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Ugh. There's a book on the dresser. Not exactly... It's... Pulitzer Prize. It's, it's a, a prize material. Yeah, it's a prize given to... Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's a mystery why he doesn't get any customers. How the hell is this restaurant even still open? There's oh, actually a reason cool. for that. <laughs> and say it in your best French accent. With intensity. Oh, goody. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> okay, um, here's one. <clears throat> it's called... Pantheons. <clears throat> the two of them so might act as from a film. The coffee still undrunk. Sweet nothings over too soon. On that sad Sunday morning, the forest cocktail so delicious. Jesus. So, you're a morning drinker. Take Phoenix the Phoenix. last sip of your tea, and I know what I will do. I must lie to you. I must. Phoenix needs to drink. Phoenix needs to go to a trip in uh, New Orleans uh, and learn some French. Uh, that's it. Wait, you were enjoying that? Uh, yep, that's a poem for you. It's even shit in the back. I'll take a while, I guess, and say that in the original version, she has an IQ. Hey, Paige, remember that, remember that shitty poem Mikey made in that episode of Recess? <laughs> uh, I oh. think so. Here we go. Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing onto the floor. Oh. I don't even have that many candles. <laughs> Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 98, 99, 100. They're all the same, too. She counted all of those. That's dedication. Three hours later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. And now that dedication's about to pay off. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all of One of these things varnish? is not like seems, the other. Like it's a nail varnish. <laughs> Wait. Well, what do you know? It doesn't have a label either. Hmm. hmm. And it doesn't. No. Yeah, yeah, Just we know like it's cyanide. It's tasteless, odorless. We know how this goes. Wait. Or acid. That if too. It's clear, if it's clear and you don't know what it is, don't drink it. Yeah. Hey, Nick, we should borrow this. Unless you're a mirror, because nothing can kill you, apparently. There's a thin line between borrowing and stealing. <laughs> I mean, look how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? I'm Again, sure! Rest, out of a hundred bottles, logic. he won't miss the one that's different from them all! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Small battle. Okay, we've got the Magatama and we've been stealing. Let's get the fuck. Yes, let us go. And there's no oh, one here, so it's not like we have to pay. <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, this is what we call a dine and dash. Only it's for justice's sake. And 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 you and you got the dash bit right. You dash didn't get out of this. And she she doesn't point. know about the magatama on the bottle that you just found, of course. <laughs> She's really into that waitress thing. I want to know who the. Oh, a Vespa. Figured out where the Magatama would be. I mean, they'd have to know Phoenix if it was in his pocket. I know, right? <sighs> Drat, and I still have some unanswered questions for the old man. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want to answer them, to be fair. Well, so, guess... who came here with the. Uh... This is where I found that job listings magazine before. A guy like me carrying around a magazine like that kind of gives the wrong impression. Gee, uh, yeah, about that. I guess I better give it back to that old man once this investigation's over. Heck, it even got Maya a job right on the spot. The pigeons are so busy pecking at the seeds, they don't notice anything else. Seeing those birds eat with such intense focus. Fills you with determination? That too. It also reminds me of Maya when she's scarfing down a burger. Maya's filled with burgers. When I think <laughs> back to when I was young... Maybe Maya's filled with deburger nation? I Please wonder no. <laughs> what I found so great about playing in a sandbox. Maybe I'll come back here in the middle of the night one of these days to relive it. Uh... On second thought, being arrested by Gumshoe would be too embarrassing to bear. Okay. <laughs> You're under arrest, pal. Waves I... <laughs> Leave the Italian accents to me and to you. Anyway, I don't see any many parks like these these days. Yes, mom. Um, uh, thank you, Apollo. Whatever, we we'll go. Sure. Blah blah, bananas. Blah, blah, blah. So, best pop? A scooter, huh? Who'd leave it in the middle of the park like this? Oh boy, here we go. The wheel guard and the light are busted. Oh boy. I get it must I guess it must have been an accident. It's totally wrecked. Anjovo woke up half his neighbors. I... Hey! Oh, what do you fuck. think you was doing with my bike? You and you thought Damon Gant had quite the uh tap. What the fuck am I looking at? You're looking at an orange. No, no I was just <laughs> You have been, been messing with my new ride. Is that what you have been doing? Uh I oh. guess we have found a double gang. No, uh, this uh, this guy's just a really big fan of Trump. I freaking love his theme, though. Wow, you're gonna pay for this. Uh, it, it wasn't me. I was just passing my A. Hey, then who's that who governed my saddle and crap, huh? Um. Well, there's a bunch of pigeons over there. Wow, you're gonna pay to catch my drift. No, wait, Zack, I am not a pigeon! I couldn't have done it! A wise guy, eh? Uh... <laughs> I had to beat you so hard, you don't feel like yours was smudging the express train. Uh-oh. Yes, better watch your back. This ain't over. As you can tell, this guy is tiger fiend. Now you'll notice on his shirt, a tiger is biting onto a dragon. This sort of fits because, in the Japanese version, Phoenix's name, Ryu, was fashioned after a dragon. The tiger is actually a natural enemy of the dragon in uh, yeah, Japanese yeah, folklore. Yeah, we made an entire movie about that. So. Uh, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What you say? By the way, that's a nice hairdo you got there. I'm Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney at- <laughs> Well, we didn't even 
even any fruit to present to the badger. Phoenix Wright! Yes, saying you, Phoenix Wright! <sighs> um, yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Why, yes, indeed, dear Sora. So you a wise guy, too, uh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Don't make me laugh, cause I'm Phoenix Wright, the one and only! Oh, boy. Really? What? So we're going really into Sonic Adventure 2 territory. You yeah. have no idea, dear. This guy looks vastly more different than I mean, Okay. Out of my way! I got a cruise. Yeah, it's, it's, it was stupid there, and it's stupid here. It, he's gone. Surely that guy wasn't my phony, was I'm he? I'm actually, I'm actually more offended by it in this case because it's even more blatant. He wasn't anything like me. Oh, I know what's going on. Yep. Obvious reference is obvious. What? what? I can't hear you. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I better make a note of the scooter. Yeah, looking back at the cutscenes, man, Sonic Adventure 2 had some wonky sound uh, mixing. Uh, trust me, Joe, but you have no idea. Play the HD remaster. Like... Yeah. Oh, oh. it's you. Well, one awesome theme after another. And you look like a pigeon that's got sanitized. Have you been here the whole time, then? I don't think that's so already. I had some drinking to do. Right. More like you had some cowering to do. But yeah, for as uh, blatantly different as that guy is, I do like his theme, and he's actually a pretty neat bad guy. And by my phony. The wheel guard is smashed up, and hey, just like me, he is okay with pink. Oh god, dang it. Are you a regular at that restaurant, sir? It's just that if you dislike it so much, why do you keep going there? That's a good point. Yeah. Sir? There we go. Wow, free even this guy. I knew it. This old guy has something to hide, but what could it be? What could it be? Do we do we have the evidence to try and find out? Nope. Why are you a regular at the restaurant that you clearly hate, sir? Take that present! Here I pay seats! It's no good. I'm gonna have to break his psych lock. In the next part. I just can't All figure right. out what he would be hiding. I mean, I'm only asking him why he goes to a particular restaurant. Hmm. Yeah. So, join us in the next part when we figure out the great mystery of why an old guy would want to go to a restaurant that 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 has shitty food, a garish, uh, a garish, uh, garish. Terrible food, basically, it's in a fine, crappy it's okay. boss. It's okay. It's okay. An orange, an orange, an orange uh, suited waitresses. Boy, there's yeah. a lot of orange in this case. <laughs> See you in the next yeah. part, everybody. See, ya. See you. Then.